You've gone to, um, I think, a team that have started getting some success. is very tough, you know, yeah. um, tough with resources um, on the West Coast, kind of away from everything, yeah. proper chip on the shoulder, not a negative chip on the shoulder, yeah. um, and you're now immersed in the midst of it. And, um, you know, what's that, what's that been like? You've been there for a few months. It's been phenomenal. Like, uh, I always heard, you know, every time I went to Dublin, they'd talk about the West is the best and so forth, and pl people go there for holidays. I mean, everything I heard has been confirmed. I mean, it's just a wonderful place and great crack, as people say. And, you know, it's the way people do things and, and, uh, and the way they treat people. And, and I've met so many friends, even away from rugby, my neighbours, my kids' schools. The kids are loving it over there. And more important, my wife's loving it too. Um, but I think the biggest thing, you know, I'd, when, when I did my research, because I always, when, when rugby become professional, you needed to know who you're playing for when, when the chips are down. You need to know what you're representing. And I always made an effort to do that when I was playing. And I did my homework on Connacht and to see, if you know, was it 10 years ago, they're almost gone. And to see Eric and people go there and get that decision overturned takes a lot of heart and uh, and uh, passion and fight. And then I started to see that in the performances and I watched a documentary last year and I was like, wow. You know, and then it reminded me so much of uh, the struggles of, of my time and of Samoa, where you don't have all the resources and so forth and very much David versus Goliath and where you have to rely on team. And one of the things, you know, all our mates, when we talk about missing rugby, we don't necessarily miss all the playing again, but it's all the camaraderie and that. And you need that even more so when you don't have what, you know, the big boys have and you've got to be able to come together as a group and, and that's what I love being part of and that's certainly what we're doing at, uh, what Eric's been doing at Connacht and, and Brad's before that and, and, and what I, my responsibility is to take that and build on that as well. Have you gone into the idea of the, the age-old rivalries between the, the different provinces? Yes, yes, and it's, uh, but I think, you know, I think the biggest thing here is, is we can only control you know what we can bring and I, I think the the biggest thing for me as a coach that Connick has to be a viable place where players can develop the rugby program we have has to, every player wants to get better so we got to make sure that happens and also it's a genuine pathway through to the Irish team and obviously good friends with uh, with Joe Schmidt and 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 the other coaches in, in the provinces and um, and for us it's it's really focusing on making sure if we get that right and players can see Connick as a place to, to play their rugby to go through then uh, you know, then we we, we can be a, 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 a success, and then then more importantly, we come together as a team. We can compete in those games against the the big boys, the Munsters and Leinsters and Ulsters. But you also have to manage the crowd's expectation in those, yeah. and not even manage them, but you know, you have to help them along with it because their view is that you know this is the business, this is what we have to deal with, and. It isn't just those games, it has to be over the duration of the season, yep. but they still hold a special place in, in, the, in the hearts of the support. What, 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 I, what I found, just meeting supporters and so forth, you know, they want to see a team playing with heart, they want to see a team playing with passion, that are fighting, which is what a Connacht person is all about. And, um, and that, that's the key. They understand that we don't have the squads or the resources of others. But they, of course, they want to win. No different from, from us. We, our, our job is, is to go out there and win as many games as we can. But we can't focus on that. We need to grab hold of who we are and everyone giving everything. Because I've been in teams and I've coached teams where we can play at 60, 70% of our, of our, our performance, and, but we can rely because we've got superstars that will get us through. Like we can't do that here. And that's the beauty of it, is that it's a different challenge that we need every single person. We can't rely on anybody. It has to be everybody. And, and that pretty much epitomises what Connacht is about, uh, you know, together. And that's what we have to do. We have to show our supporters that, you know, when we rock up on uh, every Saturday or Friday to play the game, it's a culmination of everything we've done this week, but more importantly, it's, it's from here.